On seven things to know for the day. Number one, a report obtained by the Associated Press shows engineers told Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner's administration in 2016 that replacing problematic plumbing at the veterans home beset by Legionnaire's disease would cost $8 million. However, a counterpoint released by the Illinois Veterans Home disagrees with that assessment. Number two, Quincy has faced decades of stagnant population growth, but a new plan and new vision may be the first step in a road toward renewed growth. Tonight on KHK News at 10, Marcus Espinoza will show you what city leaders and influential business owners say has to happen for a new approach to housing development to begin. Number three, one of the best ways to personally affect change in your town is to vote, which you can actually already do in Adams County. Adams County Clerk Chuck Vinverlo announced last week that early voting is happening now for the March 20th primary, although it is closed today because of the holiday. Number four, 84 children have died from the flu since this season began in October. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released the newest numbers on Friday. In the weekly surveillance report, 22 deaths were added to the flu-related statistics involving kids. Number five, President Donald Trump unleashed a barrage of tweets over the weekends, many in response to Friday's indictment of more than a dozen Russian nationals accused of trying to undermine confidence in U.S. democracy. Number six, as funeral services started for the victims of last week's shooting at a Florida high school, many of the teenage survivors are trying to take the fight for gun control laws into their hands. They've announced a nationwide demonstration scheduled for March 24th called the March of Our Lives. And we are waking up to scattered showers and thunderstorms on your President's Day, putting down some pretty heavy rain at times across the tri-states. We'll talk about how long this rain is going to last and if there's snow forecasted in the next seven days.